Alright, so here's a little bit of footage of us seining the pond to try to see what's in it. Um, it's a separate video on my channel, y'all can go check it out. I just wanted to put a little bit of footage so you get an idea how we found it. Out, he had all them little green sunfish in here. So, we've looked it up online. It's green sunfish. Exactly what we did want. <laughs> Yeah, the birds will eat them. So if you watched the scene in the video already, or just this little couple clips that I had to begin in this video, you could tell there was a bunch of green sunfish. And from what we gathered from some research, you don't want to stock your bluegill on top of those green sunfish. Uh, the green sunfish are native to Louisiana. They're probably going to get in your pond at some point. But you don't want them already established in your pond when you stock your uh, your fingerlings for your bluegill. And that's why the next part of this video comes about. It's us dumping uh, hydrated lime into my buddy's pond to do a fish kill. The concept is you're jacking the pH up and it gets to a point where those fish can't live in that high pH. They die off and then you slowly let it, uh, you put a pump running to circulate water and just rain and over time the pH will lower enough to where you can stock. And then goes the second part of the video, us stocking. So here you go. Hydrated line. Yeah, actually, uh, it's spreading out nicely. Now, now that we got the ridiculousness out the way, we getting the, the real stuff done. <laughs> yeah, kind of rushing. That's the problem. Yeah, plan it out. Yeah. Put a whole tank right here. Move down. Yeah. Six bags in there. We do keep doing six bags at a time. Yeah, six at a time. We're starting to see a bunch of stuff come up to the surface. We just saw two fishes come up to the surface. I think I think what we're doing is starting to work. We uh, just finished batch number five that we sprayed in trying to see if I can see one of the fish on the phone that, that's the swim oh there he is he's swimming to the surface up there I think the pH is starting to fuck with him well we're about halfway done we're seeing some fish gulping for air at the top of the layers we're starting to see mud separate from the water so there's some science being scienced here um so yeah but we only halfway. <laughs> it's some work. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Because when we're catching three pound brim out of here, that's what Brandon said. I think two pounds. But if we catch a two pound brim, I'll still be, I might mount that. But when we're catching them big old brim and them big old bass out of here, it'll be worth it. So let's get back to work. It looks kind of dark. It's not as dark as it was earlier. I know. I say, what do you say, a 10 maybe? We did it earlier, we did it over there though. Well, yeah, it's oh, yeah. It's getting like yeah, 10 at least. Maybe close to 11, huh? Yeah. The 12 is purple. That's about where we need to get, I think. Yeah. It's going to slowly, it's going to steadily rise though, huh? I think. Yeah, I believe so. I think we just finished pumping this tank like we're doing. Yeah, make our way around it. Mm -hmm. them, them kids can tell us when they find a, uh, yay! When y'all see a fish floating, do like this. Okay. <laughs> 
So the fish kill that we did was April 23rd. So it's been, and the restocking we just did last weekend, last Sunday. So that was May, May 24th, or no, 25th, May 25th. So a whole month went by for the pH to get back right to where we restocked. So even though the video goes, you know, uh, fish kill, restocking, there was a month in between to get that pH back low enough to where those fish could survive. Uh, what my buddy did, I wish I would have filmed a little bit of it, to test it, he took one of the green sunfish, the big ones, and put it in a real small cage with real small netting, and put it in the pond and let it sit for like three or four days to make sure it didn't die. So it, to, he, he tested the pH to make sure the pH was right with his little strips, and then he tested it on that fish. Uh, you can hear us talk about it in the video, in fact, that he's gonna release that fish back into my buddy's pond. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah there he goes. One chicken pin in the pond. Thank you. <laughs> there gonna be a bunch of fish tomorrow in the pond. <laughs> There's the other one. That's two good ones. They fat too, boy. And there's a smaller one we're gonna put that tell me. There's a chicken pin. <laughs> Probably the female. Yeah. Oh. Tell those ones with those broken things. The ones that have been sitting on the nest with the fucked up tail. Yeah. The male. Oh shit, that's all right. That's two of them. We got just a small one now. If we get about another 800 of those, would be nice. I know. I'm about to go cast bro. net somebody's pond and find He caught some. those two big ones in the same spot. I was like, oh shit, we on them. Yeah. We didn't catch another one after that. I was like, oh shit, we on a, we on a hole of fucking chicken pin. I was like, I got all excited. <laughs> those don't, they don't build up. No. Yeah. Except this, this is the smallest one. We kept it though because it's a chicken pin. Yeah, might just be a female. It might be. It might be the same age as them. It might be. It's weird how them fish do, but that's how they do. Thank you. We did a fish kill. Now we had the fish. <laughs> All right, last one. There she goes. Look, I got one. Right. Two thousand, I think is what he said. I was lighting these on the ice sheds with a lot of little fishes. And I got my ice sheds just in case. They said they might not need it, but if they do, we'll be putting something in it as well. In fact, I guess I'll pull up. So these are the ones that could be going in yours, huh? Yeah. That's a big one.
Got a, got a strap down all that weight in the back of the truck. This one spills so much. Oh yeah, it's gonna keep it from spilling. I guess I could drain that one in the back of my truck. Take the weight out. I got a little brim. Oh, is that a dead one? Yeah. See? Yeah, throw him in the pond. The turtles eat him. I just saw another one in there. Let's see. Look. Right there. Oh, yeah, there's a few in there. Oh, there's a bunch in there. Oh, it's even on the body. Yeah. That's alright, about, they're about to get all in the pond. Yeah. There's some in here too? Oh yeah, yeah. So, cool. Say on YouTube, but I say a lot anyway. Good thing none of my shit's monetized. Oh, you got, <laughs> well, you got a couple in there. Yeah. Oh, look, there's one on the ground. Yeah. Is he alive or dead? Put him in. There's two of them. Yeah. Throw them, along, Throw them anyway in the pond. You, you, you oh, all oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we'll get picked this nice dress up, man. Probably. Do a little. Chance of fish in. We'll put it over here. Was that right over here by the rocks? Yeah. Cool. Let me. Reset up. Everybody wants to see the fish. <laughs> Be back there. We document this in in about three years when we catching pound brim out of here. You can go back and you say, "Hey, look, 
Rand is not satisfied with a pound. I mean, three and four pounds. Oh, I know, but I'm going to be satisfied with a pound. You got a, fish, <laughs> you got a fish in here with a Zepco 808. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are no minnow. Oh. No, that one swimming right there is a fish. The oh, one that... well, these are something. Where's your Here camera? Yeah, do you feel? I feel like we're not videoing very well. They are. I know my camera's over there. If somebody wants to help. I just, I had to set it up because Dominic didn't want to film. He said, I want to watch. Oh, there they go. Look at that critter. Look at that critter. I didn't think that that's a garfish. <laughs> what is that? It's some kind of bug. That's a little mermaid. That's a uh. That's a den. That would be a dragonfly in here. I got the same dance for everything. I know. Yeah. I just changed. I just changed the rhythm a little bit. If it's if it's rap or uh, it's not cool, it goes all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I even Brian. danced to the music in my head. <laughs> Brian, we're gonna release this one back to you. Him I'd like him back. Thank you. He's, he's been a, he's been a soldier, bro. He was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I've been looking at him every day. I can't. Him, I know it's a turtle food, turtle food, turtle <laughs> food. Go feed my buddies oh, down the street. Maybe I've I can been riding. Maybe that's not big one. Right? They got about thirty. Oh right? hey, I go feed. Yesterday I fed up chicken nuggets and French fries. Those things are healthy. I swim, feed dude. Meat. Swim. I feed them all my fish heads. The turtles. Yeah. yeah. I go feed them. That's my little buddies down there. Oh, you know who would do that? Oh, that was a crazy looking bird that swam up. Yeah. Yeah, you better. Amy, you have to tell. What turtle? Oh look, this dude. I feel like he, yeah, he, he wants to be alive. Look, this is how you resuscitate them. You, you, you force the water through that gill. Claire, you gotta blow air up their butt. Yeah. Like a chicken. <laughs> look, look, I resuscitated them. I rocked them back and forth. It pushes the water through that gill. I learned that, I learned that with the bass. Yeah, you do that back in the Yeah, it gets the, it gets the water going through that gill so they get oxygen. You just swam off. I, I, I saved you 60 cents, Frank. All right. Let me look at this. Yeah. I think that's some eels. It's clean Perfect. as it ever be. I love that. Good job, Brian. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. 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 It'd be 2,000. Well, 1,900, 1,972 is what I'm going to say. Yeah. It's like it seems well, like it's a lot, but it's not more. It's more than he gave us more. No, it's true. He gave a second dip net to make up for the dead one, so it probably is over 2,000. All right, JR, that's a perfect spot to do your uh, your segue or your ending. All right. That sounds like a plan. Do this we'll throw that there when I do for the turtle. I'm going to watch you later. <laughs> there you go, and I got your truck in the background. Hey, everybody. Weird Wild World of Wheeler. Y'all know the channel. My 529 subscribers now. Thank everyone of y'all for y'all for subscribing. This is the pond video. So far, I think I might have on here. We've already done the seining video of the pond. But I haven't released the video of us killing the original fish that was in here. All them little green sunfish. These are the new bluegill that are going to be in here. And there will be videos down the road. Hopefully of us catching big slab monster bluegill out of here. But uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Till next time. Peace.